Hey guys, we're gonna decode the, a little bit of uh, BPSK31 signals, um, amateur radio signals, uh, with FLDG software. So on the radio here, I'm on 14070, which is a frequency for BPSK31 signals. Here on the software, I will choose in op mode on the upper left of FLDG um, PSK and then go into BPSK31 now you notice that in the waterfall here at the bottom let's just uh, move this like that maybe try to get uh, you get these lines that are different BPSK signals so you have to match with a BPSK signal like here and suddenly you get decoding going on so we're just gonna try to get another signal so here on the waterfall you see all these signals these are all BPSK signals different BPSK signals and here we go again let's see KE3LB from VE9CQ and here it says thanks for the call your RST is 599 which is a good report and he's in Chipman, New Brunswick says that the name is Ken back to you so here he is uh, obviously typing directly from his keyboard um, but a lot of amateur stations actually have their uh, station and information that is kind of automatic so you, you just press you know an F key and it sends automatically with their software let's uh, check out for another BPSK here here we go so this is one guy saying he's using FLDG on the screen. Just gonna turn it a little bit more than this. There we go. Um, hope you guys can see what's on the screen. This is always very interesting. I like uh, you know tuning to different signals. And BPSK31 is one of the easiest modes to decode, actually. So it's cool for that also. Here, nice to meet you. Here on PSK31. As you see here, very nice print. Some contacts are, you know, long. Some people talk really a long time on digital modes. Some people just make contacts and that's it. Um, I like it, you know, when someone really exchanges with another station in digital modes. Um, it's, it's kind of more interesting when you have something to read instead of just call letters. So you see here, this guy says that he's 77 years old and uh, been off here for a bit, a bit rusty he's using a rig, is a Yizu FT450D and antenna is a dipole power at about 30 watts so you see, you don't need that much power to actually make it and using an old Windows XP so this is you know one of those modes digital modes that's fun to actually watch it's easy to tune and that's also something interesting some digital modes are very very touchy and what happens is when you try to tune it's always complicated 
but PSK31 is easy. All you have to do is check your waterfall and place, simply place that, you know, the, the two lines on a signal on the waterfall and you just decode and that's it. So here's CQ, which is a calling, means the station is calling. EA8OM, so this station is from Spain actually. And to give you an idea how I get the signals, if you want to know uh, the signals, what you do actually is uh, you fire up your browser and um, when you fire up your browser you simply go to the qrz.com website and uh, you have to log in you can do a free uh, subscription and then all you have to do for example is I go to here I see that the station is uh, VA3MJR for example which I know is a station from Canada I'll go to the page I'll enter VA3MJR and click search and here it gives you station uh, the full address where you can write if you want to have a QSL um, remember if you have, want a QSL from an amp station you have to uh, you know send them a self-addressed stamped envelope uh, so that it doesn't cost too much and um, here it says that uh, if you want self-addressed stamped envelope and two dollars in US funds or one IRC so that you can actually uh, get a QSL if you want. So um, that's pretty much what I do. Uh, when I feel like it, I'll fire up, you know, FLDG in the computer. And what's nice is even if you have an old computer, FLDG works very well. Even in an old, uh, you know, if you have an old Windows XP machine that lies around doing nothing, why not convert it into a uh, digital decoder you install FLDG and uh, you know all you have to do is just let it sit there and decode signals and that's it uh, so you can use an old computer and recycle it to do this job and only this job which is always nice so I uh, hope uh, you guys enjoyed this little demonstration of you know decoding signals on PSK31. Um, maybe the last thing that I'd say about BPSK31 before I stop the video is the frequencies. Um, you know, 7070, 14070, um, 21070, and 28070 are all BPSK frequencies. So if I, for example, if I go into 28.07, uh, chances are there's gonna be if there are any because sometimes 10 meters is not always open so here I don't hear nothing let's try 21.070 uh, pretty quiet there too it seems to be quiet today on the bands but 20 meters has a lot as you see well here's one on um, 21.070 it's rather high I'm gonna go tune it here and we'll see what it's going to be. So, uh, you know, remember these signals. Which will let you uh, tune to PSK. There we go. WF5FER599599. Washington. 599. And the station is W1AW-7. So this is another W1AW signal. Uh, this is a special uh, call. The one AW has a special something that's called like the, I think it's the Centennial, or you know like 100 years of ARL or something like that. So uh, why not uh, you know take your hand at uh, try your hand at BPSK31 decoding. Um, one of the fine modes 
and uh, even if it's very noisy it still decodes well in general so it's a very very nice mode actually and uh, you'll be uh, um, you know entering the world of digital decoding on the uh, shortwave bands so 73s